Dear all, welcome to this video. Please hit the subscribe button so that you automatically get updates for upcoming videos and lectures. Thank you. Enjoy watching. So first we will see the composition of emulsifying ointment base. That is, it, it contains emulsifying wax around 30 grams, soft paraffin around 50 grams, and liquid paraffin around 20 grams. So total weight of the emulsifying ointment base equals to 100 gram. Now out of this 100 gram, 91 gram emulsifying ointment will be using and the benzoic acid will be used in uh, around 6 grams and salicylic acid will be used is 3 grams. So now this master formula equals to the 100 gram of the ointment but we will be preparing 10 grams. So for 10 grams we have calculated it 4.6, 0.3 and 9.1. So the total weight equals to 10 gram. Now the benzoic acid which we are using, it is a fungistatic agent. That is, it prevents the growth, stops the growth of fungi. Okay, static means stops and fungi, uh, that is growth stopper and fungi is against fungi. So fungi growth will be stopped and uh, salicylic acid is it is a keratolytic agent. So, if there is infection in keratin layer which is present on the skin, so that can be treated by using salicylic acid. And your emulsifying ointment will be the ointment base. So, now we will see the requirements. So, here you can see benzoic acid, salicylic acid, vaseline. Vaseline is your uh, soft paraffin, emulsifying wax and liquid paraffin. Now these are your glassware requirements. So here it will be requiring a tie. Then this is a spatula used for navigation purpose. Matchbox. Then beaker, glass rod, evaporating dish and spatula. So first we will see the procedure for preparation of ointment paste. So initially whatever the ingredients are required for ointment base that is soft paraffin, emulsifying X and liquid paraffin is weighed in an evaporating dish and it is melted over a water bath with continuous stirring by glass rod till a homogeneous mixture is formed. So since we are heating it on a water, water bath the temperature required is around 75 to 80 degrees Celsius because all these ingredients have low melting point. So that is around 70 to 80 up to the range of 60 to 70 degrees Celsius they get easily melt. So we are heating it on a water bath and not on a direct flame. So once a homogeneous mixture is formed, the after cooling this mixture, whatever product you will get that is the ointment base which will be semi-solid in nature. Then uh, for preparation of compound benzoic acid ointment, you will be slight excess amount of benzoic acid and salicylic acid. Then you will grind it and pass it through the sieve so that the particle size is uniform for both the APIs. And then you are going to mix those two on the tie. You will mix both the powders on a tie. Then you will be adding the emulsifying ointment to the powder and you will carry out the levigation process. So what is this levigation process? You will smear using a palette knife, the knife which we saw which we also called as spatula and you will allow that powder to get properly incorporated into that ointment base. Uh, care has to be taken that the particles should not be visible by the naked eye. So, navigation process has to be carried out up to the time uh, until complete disappearance of particles takes place. So, disappearance of particles indicates that the particles have been completely incorporated into the ointment base and hence they are not visible. Then once your uh, ointment is ready, you can transfer it into the wide mouth container. Now, we will see the procedural video for preparation of ben compound benzoic acid ointment. So now we can see the procedure for preparation of so salicylic acid and benzoic acid ointment. 
So before we prepare the ointment, we will be preparing the emulsifying base. Now this emulsifying base consists of emulsifying wax, white soft paraffin and liquid paraffin. So what we have done is, we have already laid the amount of white soft paraffin and uh, emulsifying wax. And then now we will be adding liquid paraffin into it. We will be preparing 10 gram of base, emulsifying base. And we will heat it on a water bath until a clear homogeneous solution is formed. Here you can see a homogeneous mixture has been formed containing no solid particles. I will remove it from the water bath and we allow, we allow it to cool up to room temperature. Now you can see that the emulsifying wax is ready. Due to cooling it has become semi-solid in nature. Now we will transfer this on a slab. Now we will add salicylic acid and benzoic acid. We have passed these salicylic acid and benzoic acid powder through C in order to prevent large size particles. Now we will levigate it with the help of spatula and allow it to mix uniformly. This process of mixing is known as levigation, where you incorporate the API into the piece. Care has to be taken that there should not be any particles remaining as such. All the drug particles should get equally incorporated into the emulsifying base. Stop. Here is our salicylic and benzoic acid ointment ready. Now here you can see the label which I have prepared for compound benzoic acid ointment. Now the formula is obtained from BPC, so hence BPC here it is mentioned. This is just a fake name. Then uh, here I have written the category of the formulation, keratolytic, fungistatic also you can add. Then this is the place where the formulation has been prepared. Here I have mentioned the composition. So while mentioning the composition, there is no need to mention the composition of emulsifying base. Just you have to mention that emulsifying base has been used. You have to mention the amount of both the APIs in, a, in the form of percent paid by weight. Then the manufacturing license number, batch number, manufacturing date, expiry date and MRP is required. And in directions for use, we will be writing apply on affected skin with massage once or twice daily. Warning is you don't have to apply it on unbroken skin. And if irritation occurs, then discontinue the use. And it is very important to mention for external use only in red and bold in capital letters and you can mention the storage as storing cool and dry place. Thank you. With this we have completed the compound benzoic acid ointment formulation. Thank you.